Hello everyone, Ben10 here with Using Script. Yesterday I made a video about our new indicator. If you didn't get the chance to check it out, please do so. If you'd like to read the details, you can check the announcement on our forum. It looks like you guys are really enjoying this brand new indicator. Thank you to everyone for providing your feedback. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to set up the scanner and the watchlist column. First, let's identify what we're scanning for. I want to set up a scanner that will tell me when the green line crosses below the zero line. So the green line here crosses below the white zero line. Okay, so switch over to the scan tab. This area right here should be empty. Click add and then study. Click on this pencil icon, delete. We are going to add a new condition, study. Crosses below. So make sure you have this right here crosses below zero line. Later on we are going to adjust this setting, this option right here, but for now we are going to leave it as that. Save and click OK. So right now I have this scanner that is going to scan for when the green line crosses below the white line, the white zero line. This right here is going to be the time frame. By default, it is always going to be scanned on the daily chart. You can change this to four hours, two hours, or one hour, or whichever time frame that, that is available under this list. Click scan. So right now, there aren't any symbols, matching symbols, and I'm not surprised. I mean, the market has been up so much. Now we're going to save the scanner, save scan query, and then give it a name. For this one, I will name it btd underscore daily. Save. Now let's set up another scanner, but for a different time frame. So click on this pencil icon again, edit, and then change. 1 to 7. Why is that? Because there are 7 candlesticks on the hour, hourly chart. So right now you would click 1 hour, click OK. This option will include extended hours. I don't like that so I am going to uncheck it. This, you know, it, it is up to you if you want to include extended hours or not. For me personally, I don't like it, so I'm not going to include this option. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we are going to save it. Since it is on the hourly chart, we are going to name it BTD hourly. Then save. You can repeat this whole, the same process again for a different time frame of your choice. We can do uh, the four hours since um, there are two, there are only two bars on the four hours, right? You scan, change that to two bars. So within two bars, within two bars on the four hour will give me the most current, you know, signal. Save it. Four hour save. Now that you have all your scanners created and saved, all you have to do is go back to the screen, click here, low scan query, personal, and then choose from your your saved scanners. Right, so each day after market close or during the market opens, you feel like you want to scan for something instead of going through this whole process again where you have to set up your your own condition 
all you have to do is load your your existing um, scanner so let's do btd daily um, let's try hourly you already have the proper configuration for each time frame so when you load one of these scanners you shouldn't have to do anything else other than click on the scan button right here or adjust the watch list you want to scan in so the good thing about this is that you can scan in any watch list that you want if you have your own personal watch list that you want to scan for example right here click scan no matching samples you can switch to another um, watch list a lot of these are provided by thinkorswim by default so feel free to play around with it and okay, moving on to the watch list column what is a watch list column it is these columns here that are on your watch list <laughs> i mean that's the simplest way i can put it they provide additional insight into the stocks that you have on your watch list for example, I have several watch list columns here. For this one, it's called Gap. It would tell me whether the stock has gapped up or down and by how many points. And then the relative volume. To add a new watch list column, all you have to do is click on this tiny gear icon, left uh, right click on it, customize. In the search bar, click custom and then choose any of these options double click on it and it will give you this window click on think or um, think script editor in this box you are going to paste the watch list column code for the buy the dip indicator provided to you on the forum make sure to rename it let's say if you're going to be using it on the hourly chart hourly change the time frame to one hour include extended hours or not that is entirely up to you for me personally i don't use it so i am going to untick and then click ok and then click apply since i already have mine added i'm going to show it to you guys so after one hour the four hour and then the daily right so these values or the green line but on daily four hour and one hour as you can see I am currently on the one hour chart 1.95 1.96 if you ran it up Now let's try another ticker, Netflix. Let's do a uh, daily chart. 7.29, 7.3. All right, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful. If you have any questions, just post it in the forum or directly in our Discord channel. I will try my best to help. I'll see you again in the next video.